Pandora, we have like over 80 million active users every month. We have over 8 billion stations created over time. We have over 50 billion thumbs. So 50 billion thumbs, you can do a lot of, <laughs> I mean, you can do a lot of things with this, data, with this data. With 50 billion thumbs, sometimes the problem, it's not really which complex approach we use, but sometimes it's like just how can I get all this data and process it? We use all the, the Hadoop uh, kind of um, uh, approach. Um, Hadoop is uh, well known for being able to process large and large amount of data, following in a, a, a MAPRED use approach, but like have a lot of distributed nodes. You can distribute your data, process it at each node or each you know, machine if you want, process some of this uh, information, and then in the end you aggregate all this uh, um, a small computation on each uh, node, and then you aggregate that, and, and then you reduce and provide the final result. We also use what is called Hive, which is a kind of SQL or the, the, the equivalent to do um, queries, uh, SQL queries to a relational, classic relational databases to get some data, um, the select asterisk from something. Um, so we have this equivalent on, equivalent on HDFS Hadoop that's called Hive. There are other approaches. We use Hive in order to be able to get some data and, and process this data. On top of that, once you have the data, we use Python or R and like libraries on, that are built on, based on R or Python in order to create our models. That's the approach. Now, recently, or starting uh, mid, like a year ago, uh, mid-2014, uh, we were um, moving or start exploring Spark and Scala. And this idea is kind of similar to Hadoop, but the idea here, especially for scientists, is that it allows you to um, deal with, uh, let's say, like huge matrices. If you have to uh, load a matrix in memory and do matrix operations, but sometimes it's um, difficult to, to do that. Um, or it takes a lot of time. This Spark Scala, or let's say Spark, allows us to be faster uh, computing these matrix operations. So we started porting last year. I mean, new projects with a site where we use the classic Hadoop Hive uh, approach or Spark Scala, but even in some cases, we move some of the jobs we had from Hadoop to Spark and port it to Scala. And we, we've seen improvement like 10 times or like 50 times faster. Subscribe to learn more.